going to take my Vitacaps Lion's Mane Supplement. I shared this in a video quite a few weeks ago and a lot of you have reached out and asked if I was still taking this and what exactly are the Vitacap supplements and why do I continue to take them every day? So again, this is the lion's mane. They are all made from mushrooms. Now mushrooms is a great, great supplementation. So again, this is the lion's mane. This is the one that I take every single morning. You can pick these up off the Vitacap website. They have several different mushroom based supplements. I will also link a discount down in the description box for you. You can see all of the amazing benefits just from the lion's main capsules. They have powders and they have gummies as well. I've been taking these for a long time and I've noticed a substantial increase in focus and clarity. So definitely check them out. Good morning, guys. Welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. As you've seen, I've had my coffee with my nut pods and a little bit of sugar-free vanilla syrup. I've been doing that to help add a little bit of sweetness. The coffee creamers that I've switched over to aren't sweet at all. So by adding in just a little bit of sugar-free syrup, it gives me that little bit of sweetness. The dogs and myself had our advent calendars. So I am going to make some breakfast. It's a little after 7 a.m. But before I do, I wanted to say welcome to this week's What I Eat in a Day. A lot of you have reached out asking me about the calendar. Now there is only a handful left, I think about five. So if it's something you're interested in, make sure you grab it before it's gone. I will not be restocking. So this is your last chance to pick the calendar up for yourself or as a gift. Also, don't forget down in the description box, you'll find nutrition coaching. Again, as we move into the new year, I can do your personalized macros and calories and you can chat with me directly if you would like. I'll link everything I share with you in today's video down in the description box and of course, my Facebook group. So come on over, join us there. 20,000 members strong. It's a great community. So come on over and join us. So let's make some breakfast because I'm hungry. this morning. I'm actually really excited for this. Lots of protein to keep me full. So I have two eggs, which are zero points for me. Half of a cup or 110 grams of my low fat good culture. That's two points. And then I have four ounces of raspberries. I have cup number two of water. So that's going to be this morning's breakfast. Look at all the snow. Oh, there's so much snow. And Diesel sleeps outside in this freezing cold weather. Troy went ahead and shoveled everything yesterday, but we have at least four or five inches of snow and it's looking like it's going to snow the entire rest of the week, which is great because that means we're having a white Christmas. Do you need something? <laughs> do you? Palma, what do you need? Hi, baby girl. Hi, buddy. Oh, you're cold. You guys are outside in the snow. Are you cold? Oh, you're cold too, honey. Homer, be nice to her. I got some new pillows and a new front doormat. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. We're going to replace our flat, horrible pillows that are currently on our bed. We have two king size pillows and two standard size pillows. Our king size pillows are great. They're from my pillow and they last forever, like 10 years. You can wash them, dry them. So those last forever, but our standard size pillows, they just get really flat. So I went ahead and got a couple of new pillows. My doormat that sits in my formal living room by my front door is so old and so tattered and terrible looking that I picked up a new mat for there. So I'll show you guys some of the new house goodies that I picked up. So the pillows and the doormat are all are both from the brand LifeWit. I'll put that here on the screen for you. So if I can find any discounts or deals that they have going on on their website, I'll make sure to link all of that information down in the description box for you. But I can't tell you how excited I am to go to bed tonight on new pillows and not to have a raggedy front doormat.
already gotten since taking it out of the plastic. These are so soft. They're very, very soft, but they're also a little bit firm. They feel like a down-filled pillow. These are super, super, super nice. Diesel, do you like the new pillows? Yeah, they're pretty good, aren't they, bud? These are so, so nice. Don't judge the two different colored pillowcases. We actually used to have two brown silk pillowcases, but it tore, so I ended up with a white one. So no judgment, no judgment. But here are the two new pillows on our bed. They are so soft. I can't wait to go to sleep tonight. Right, bud? Diesel, you excited? So I'm really excited. So I'm running around my house doing all sorts of things. So I just took my little flannel shirt off, but it is morning snack time and I'm going to have one of my Evolve protein shakes. I really, really like these. They have fantastic ingredients. It is a plant-based protein shake with 20 grams of protein, 10 grams of fiber, which definitely helps me reach my goal of 25 grams of fiber every day. And it just tastes really, really good. Whenever I'm on the go or I'm doing things around the house and I just don't want to sit down for a snack, I'll grab a protein shake. I bought these on Target's website. I've never seen them in my Target store, but I did buy them and had them shipped to me. So I'll link them down below, but this is going to be my morning snack. Why are you so weird? 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 <laughs> You've been sleeping all day, all day in mama's office. For dinner tonight, we are having crock pot chicken and dumplings. It is about 11.45 a.m. Our recipe needs to cook for about five hours, so we're going to get this going in the crock pot, so let me show you what's in the recipe. You'll need chicken broth about two cups, cream of chicken soup and cream of celery soup, a can of biscuits, frozen peas and carrots, a large onion, parsley, and poultry seasoning as well as salt and pepper, and four chicken breasts. So I line my crock pot with a crock pot liner. I'm going to add my diced up onion. Over the top of the onions, I'm going to add my four chicken breasts. I did trim these of all of the excess fat. We're going to add our can of cream of celery and our can of cream of chicken right on top of the chicken breasts. We're going to add some parsley, poultry seasoning, and some pepper. And then we're adding in two full cups of chicken broth. We're going to set our crock pot to high for five hours, but in four hours, I'll be back to add in our veggies. We have the biscuits to add in, but this already looks and smells delicious. So let's get it cooking. One of my lovely subscribers who is also a Scentsy consultant reached out to me and offered to send me a wax burner because you guys know we always have candles and wax burners going in our house as well as some really fun scents from Scentsy. So she sent those over to me. I will go ahead and link her website down in the description box for you as well as all of the information about any discounts or deals she has going on. I thought that we would replace the burner that's currently in my kitchen. The the tray that the wax melts goes into is really, really stained. I needed some new melts and she sent over a few goodies that Scentsy sells as well. So I'm going to show those to you guys. We're going to replace the burner that's currently in my kitchen for this gorgeous alabaster white one that I picked out. So here are all the goodies that my subscriber sent me that sells Scentsy. I'll link her website and everything down below for you. Her name is Debbie and it is Soothing Scents with Debbie and Jen. Scentsy dot us she sent me a little catalog here and then some little miniature scents to try out these are pretty cute they're actually in the shape of what the wax melts come in Ooh, these smell really really good so she sent me it looks like three different samples and this is the aloe and cucumber car air freshener and you guys know how much i love car air fresheners i'm kind of an air freshener junkie so i'm excited for that one and then she also sent me the traditional car air freshener and this is in the scent very merry cranberry i'm going to put this in my car now since it's seasonal appropriate and then the aloe and cucumber i'll put this one in my car in the spring Ooh, i'm excited for those she also sent a baggie here with samples from scentsy's box 
body line. So Scentsy also has a full body line that has hand soaps and lotions and bath bombs and bath gels. So it looks like she sent me some samples. So we have Shimmer Hand Soap, Pineapple Coconut Vanilla Body Cream. Ooh, that sounds really good. Lucky in Love Body Wash. We also have, ooh, Scentsy Laundry. So we have the Sea Salt and Avocado Laundry Soap, the Lemon Verbena Hand Wash, and then Amazon Rain Laundry Soap. And lastly, we have the Clothesline scent of the washi, Washer Whiffs. I love these. So these will actually add that scent to your laundry. These are awesome. She also included a cotton cleanup. So so these are really great. So what you do is when you want to change the wax in your burner, you just set this in there and it will soak up all of the old wax. It makes cleanup really easy and then you're not spilling wax everywhere too. So these are really nice to have to clean out your wax burners. And it looks like she sent me two of the Scentsy bricks. So I have Black Forest Pine. I did let her know that pine and Christmas scents are my all time favorite. Oh my gosh. Wow. This smells like a Christmas tree and I have an artificial tree. So I love to burn pine candles, pine scents during the holidays. Wow. This smells just like a fresh cut Christmas tree. And then she also sent me very snowy spruce, which is another kind of Christmas scented Wow, that smells really good too. So this one is a little bit crisper pine and this one is a little bit true deep pine. Perfect, perfect scents for Christmas. And here's what the back looks like. So you actually get eight little cubes that you can pop into your burners. I only put one cube at a time. And that will last about a week or so in my burner. Sometimes I'll put two cubes in if I have a larger tray for the wax melts, but they last a super long time. And then the warmer that I requested was the alabaster because you know my kitchen, when it's not decorated for the holidays, is gray and white. I didn't realize that right now I actually have a Christmas burner from Scentsy, actually. It's like a little camper on my counter, so I won't put this one on my counter yet, but the minute the holidays days are over. This is definitely going on my counter. So here is the little tray that you actually put the Scentsy cubes in. Look at that. That is so, so pretty. It is matte white. It has kind of a rough texture to it. This is absolutely Stunning. This is going to look so nice on my kitchen counter. The burners are just such high quality. In fact, some of the Scentsy burners I currently have in my house, I've had for several, several years. And although it is matte, the burner itself, you can see that what you put your wax melts in is shiny so that it comes clean really easy and it shouldn't stain like the one that I bought off of Amazon. So I'm excited for this. Thank you so much, Debbie, for sending all of this over. And of course, I will link her Scentsy website down below for you so that you can do some shopping. So here's my lunch for today. I have quite the green lunch. I do have a festive plate with a little red and gold, but I realize my lunch is awfully green. So what I did, of course, is two of the organic romaine hearts from Trader Joe's. I have four ounces of tuna, which is the entire can, mixed with two tablespoons of light mayo. You saw me weigh that out on my food scale. With some pepper, I chopped up an English cucumber. I have been on a big cucumber kick lately. I have some sugar-free lime jello from Walmart. This is the Winky something brand. I don't know, but it's so good. It's the best sugar-free jello. So this is my lunch. I don't even miss the bread. This is so, so good. The lettuce, such a nice crunch.
So here's my afternoon snack. I have quite the assortment. I'm going to have one of these two good strawberry yogurts. I need to make sure I'm getting my calcium in, so this is really going to help. Not to mention this has lots of protein. And then I'm going to have one of my Nick sticks. These are my all-time favorite meat sticks. These are the Free Range Turkey. You actually get both sticks in the pack, and look how big these are, for 75 calories, and it has 10 grams of protein. And of course, I'll go ahead and put the points here on the screen. I really like them. The meat sticks are super soft and flavorful. And then I'm also going to have a light string cheese. Again, this will help me get in my calcium and my protein for the day. So that is my little hodgepodge for my afternoon snack. Five hours later. So our dinner has about an hour left in the crock pot. So we're going to get the biscuits ready. So I'm going to open these up and then I'm going to cut each biscuit. Woo! That was quick, that always scares me, every time. I'm going to cut each biscuit into four pieces, and then we'll add our biscuits as well as our frozen peas and carrots to the crock pot for the last hour of cooking. All right, time to pop the lid off and add our veggies and our biscuits. This smells so incredibly delicious. Look at the chicken in here and like that gravy that it makes for the quintessential chicken and dumplings. So I'm going to add my entire bag of peas and carrots. These are just frozen peas and carrots. And then just give that a stir. I want to make sure those get into the liquid so that they can cook and get warm. And then here are my biscuit pieces. So what I'm going to do is just kind of pop those on top and then we immediately want to put the lid back on and allow this to cook for an additional hour and that will get these biscuits cooked all the way through. So I just took the lid off, the biscuits are done. So what I'm going to do is reach in and shred up the chicken a little bit. I'll go ahead and plate it up and I'll be back to share points and calories. So here's my dinner for tonight, my chicken and dumplings. This looks so good. I went heavy on the chicken, light on the dumplings, but this is going to be tonight's dinner. I will go ahead and put here on the screen the points, calories, and servings. I'm warming up some broccoli, as you can hear, to have as a side and that is dinner. For dessert tonight, I'm going to have two of my Tropicals popsicles. These are the sugar-free colors from natural sources. A serving size is three popsicles, but I'm actually only going to have two. So that is 30 calories, and then of course I will put the points here on the screen, and this is going to round out today's meals. So that's a wrap for this week's What I Eat in a Day. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of the healthy but absolutely delicious foods that I ate today. Everything was so good. I feel full, I feel satisfied, I'm feeling better than ever on this new way of adapting to the WW program and the foods that I'm eating, just real whole food, I definitely, definitely feel better. I can't wait to get the rest of everything in check with my health and my thyroid, but so far I'm feeling really, really good. Don't forget I'll link everything I shared with you today down in the description box, as well as the calendar, nutrition coaching, and my Facebook group. Don't forget to come over and join us. We have lots of fun things happening for the new year. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, and of course subscribe if you're not. I'd love to have you here. Happy Wednesday, friends. Happy couple of days before Christmas, and I'll see you in Friday's weigh-in. Bye.